Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at PopCon and more for another event. Um, this event was hosted back in May. If you guys didn't see that video, we actually did a nice Funko Pop hunt. There was a bunch of mega grills there. So this is probably one of the best Funko Pop conventions that you're able to attend here in Florida so far. So we're gonna go inside, see what Funko Pops they got. Here today, they actually have four different voice actors. They have the uh, English voice actor of Beerus from Dragon Ball Z. They have the voice actor of Whitebeard. They have the voice actor of um, Enmu, the English version. And actually they have Sam De La Rosa, which is the Venom uh, comic artist. So we're super excited to come here. Let's go see what's inside. Today we actually have like a nice little budget to go ahead and spend and get a few pops. We brought our backpack filled with soft stack protectors. Let's see what Funko Pops we find. As you guys know, we have a plenty of in search ofs to go ahead and complete our collection. So yeah, let's go ahead inside and see what we can find. And as always, guys, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to attend the event yourself, make sure to go ahead and check out the PopCon and more. It's either on Facebook and Instagram. We're going to go ahead and put the link in the description. Go ahead and check them out and support if you're in Orlando, Florida. So one of the cool things about this event is that the event venue is actually right in front of Universal. If you go ahead and cross that street where that bridge is, that's where Universal Orlando Resort is. And then over here is the um, Double Tree by Hilton across Universal, the entrance of Universal. And yeah, that's like what makes it super convenient that if you're coming here to this event, um, it's a two day event, Saturday to Sunday, and you can go ahead and take advantage of going to the parks and visiting um, and getting yourself a lot of Funko Pops. So you can see this is actually a partner hotel of Universal. And in the moment you walk in, you can see the signage in the very front. And over here, you can see the advertisement banner for the event. They got lounge fly, Squishmallows, Funko Pops, graded comics, trading cards, and so much more. And then here you can see the different voice actors that are currently at the event right now. We are here at the Pops and Sons booth. As always, they have probably one of the biggest displays. This time around, I really enjoy what they did. They actually have the Funko Pops kind of engulfing. I actually really do enjoy this setup a lot. Right here, you can see they have that beautiful Toy Story Rex pop. Who remembers when this thing was like skyrocketed in price? But yeah, 30 bucks is not a bad price for it at all. Definitely might be coming back for that because that is one that I would need for my personal collection. They also have that beautiful NES uh, Jason 8-bit right there. And of course, they have the grill wall that they always do. And I mean, you got some nice NFT pops right there. Heisenberg, Notorious B.I.G. And then up there, you got some chases. And I mean, the pops they have here are always so nice. So it's super cool. They got the Frankenstein Walgreens exclusive, the Bait exclusive Bruce Lee, Chili Willy right there. A few Ready Player Ones right there, the Iron Giant. A lot of people are looking for that. Nearly Headless Nick. Summer conventions look super awesome. Over here, quite a few Stranger Things. I still need that Dustin Hockey gear. Honestly, one of my biggest regrets of a sale that I did, I went ahead and I got rid of it, even though I should have probably just kept it. Ooh, here we have seen some uh, Back to the Future right here, Dr. Emmett Brown, the OG one. We got of Elvira as well. And then right over here, they got the Box Lunch exclusive Beetlejuice um, Lydia Deeds. That one I sold not too long ago for like 60 bucks. And now look, it's become pretty much a full on grill with it being a hundred bucks. They also have the Invisible Man Chase Walgreens exclusive. That one I missed out on and I still need to have it to my Universal Monsters collection. And then over here, if you guys see, they've got the WonderCon Freddy Funko as clown. So that's super awesome right there. Pretty cool pop indeed. And then they got the little, the boo there as well, but yeah. What an amazing booth. And they also have some lounge flies that they sell over here. Just in time for Halloween, they got the mini pumpkin as spider. And then moving all the way around, you see all of these really cool um, lounge flies. They got Black Panther, they got Guardians of the Galaxy, and so much more all the way around. So Pops and Sons collectibles. I got these amazing pops right here. Got the Invisible Man chain, Chase Walgreens exclusive, and the Jason Voorhees Walgreens exclusive. These are absolutely amazing. This is actually really um, special for me because these are the pops that I picked up. I picked up this Jason Voorhees a long time ago when I first started collecting. It was my first exclusives. So I'm super happy to go ahead and get these in hand again. And again, shout out to Pops and Sons Collectibles. They're in St. Petersburg and you definitely don't want to miss it if you're in town. So again, thank you all so much for watching. This, these are awesome Pops. What's up guys, we're Panza Crew. We're super excited to be here at PopCon and super excited to meet some of you guys on the channel where we do prints, we do card, we do stickers, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, a lot of Funko stuff, a lot of Funko products, super excited. And I can't wait to meet some of you guys at the next event. Well, here we are at the Panzer Projects booth. And as you can see, they have some of the best 
um, Funko Pop artwork. They have a really cool twist on everything. They get the molds, they make them look super cool. They put outlines. Over here you can see they have some amazing details. And then over here you can see that beautiful Venomized Chopper remix right there, super cool. And then over here you can see even more pops, um, I mean, even more pop print arts. And at the same time, they also sell Funko Pops as well. So they do have them here on the side. But what's really cool is we're actually gonna go ahead and show you guys some artists that, that have done commissions. So this is a print that we did for Misa Pops. And then there's a couple more for Montana Boys over on, on TikTok and Instagram. And it's all custom work. It's all stuff, whatever they, they want, they tell me and I'll try to make it happen as much as I can. All right, guys, if you guys wanna go ahead and get yourself your own custom and commission, make sure to go ahead and check them out on Instagram right there or email for any custom work because this right here is absolutely beautiful. The fact that they're able to go ahead and combine your favorite IPs and Funko Pops into this beautiful artwork right here. All right, thanks guys. I know we've been showing you guys a bunch of different vendors, but I actually do wanna go ahead and show you guys some of the experiences that you have here at PopCon, and they have just been getting better and better. Like for example, the last event that they hosted, they had um, just like the voice actress of Naruto here, Mayo Flanagan, but here they actually have a bunch of different voice actors. So here you can see Sam De La Rosa right there. He's actually the um, comic artist for Venom. And then moving over here to this side, we can go ahead and show you guys. So this is the voice actor of Enmu from Demon Slayer. So this is an absolutely cool experience. You can go ahead and get your pop sign, get any print sign. But yeah, there you go, Landon McDonald, the English voice actor of Enmu from Demon Slayer. And then this corner over here, you can see the voice actor of Jason Douglas. So that's Beerus from Dragon Ball Z, the English voice actor, right in front of Level 10 Certification Services. And again, this is honestly such a cool event because if you guys are fans of Funko Pops collectibles, trading cards, this is again, it's such an impactful um, event here in Orlando. And then here you go, guys. This is the voice actor of um, Whitebeard from One Piece, but you can see he plays so many different um, anime actors. Here at PopCon, this is honestly one of the only places you're going to see these insane girls come out. So here you can see 1,000 pieces set of the Haunted Mansion ghost right there. These are like the invisible ones that are clear. And if you guys know, they actually did an inverse for the Hatbox ghost. So they went ahead and filled them in kind of blue with this glitter, which is absolutely amazing. So here we are at the Gorilla Lobster Collectible booth. And of course, we have seen them at plenty of conventions. However, this time around, you guys can see if you guys are Disney fans or theme park fans, they have these beautiful Roosevelt shirts now on sale so here you can see indiana jones the aliens over here we have encanto the minions this one's honestly really fun this is cool they have alligator loki here you know just in time for the new season spider-man and of course they actually do have some squish models here as well they have this beautiful grail case right here i actually do not know what that jurassic park hot wheels um like collector's box is right there that's a really cool one and then looking up here i actually do need that victor geist that's a disney parks exclusive and for those who are kind of following along with my page you guys know that we're actually trying to collect a lot of the haunted mansion stuff Moving over here, you guys can see a lot of cool um, different pops. This is like their video game section. Ooh, this is really cool. So for Camp Fun Days, 850 pieces of the Phlox Fundamuck Bears. That's pretty awesome. And then moving over here, you guys can see that they have a bunch of the horror Funko Pops. You guys see that there's some Stranger Things Pops, some Universal Monsters, the black light one right there. Over here, they got Dustin with the hockey gear as well. The Biohazard suit, Chucky, I mean, here at this booth they have just so many different Funko Pops up there you guys can see some one piece chases and on this side I love how they go ahead and they organize everything by on um, their IPs so we actually did see the Rex Funko Pop earlier well here they have the Ham Funko Pop which is pretty amazing up there you guys can see an 8-bit Jason so we had seen the NES Jason Voorhees now you got a regular 8-bit one so here we are at the Gomez and Trades booth Go ahead and check them out right here on Instagram. So this they, this setup, I feel like the, every single time we go to these conventions, the setups just keep getting better. So here you see all these amazing pins right here with their branding behind it. It's absolutely beautiful. They got those um, giblets as well that you can go ahead and pick up. And then moving into the actual Funko Pop section, I absolutely love that they've go, gone ahead and kind of encased their Funko Pops. And as you guys know, they have some of the best signed Funko Pops. You see right there that Hellboy, that you got that one sign at Spookala, which is really awesome. If you guys haven't checked that video out, definitely go ahead and check out our Spookala vlog. But here you guys can see all these amazing signature and signed pops. 
up here you can see all these really cool nft ones as well and then moving here even more nft pops but this is what really got me interested they have quite a few universal monsters funko pops that i don't have in my collection right now and the one that i'm really eyeing at is that metal luna mutant universal monster that i do need to add so it is an original um old school monster and definitely we're going to be asking about that one right there but as you guys can see here they also have some my Hair academia i do need that gamestop shinzo, uh, shinzo and i do that need that todoroki as well the glow in the dark convention one but yeah i mean you guys can see they have the new camp fun days freddy funkos as well um if you guys did see our video we did have the um luke the stone cold but yeah, awesome, awesome Funko Pops and selection here at Gomez Trades. And here you can see some of the cool um, ones that they probably got signed here because they got Beerus and White Pier, which is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, so we are at the Space Coast Toys um, booth here at PopCon. And they have some really cool, um, fantastic plastic ones. So here they got Gil, Summer Convention, limited to 5,000 pieces. They have this beautiful Marty in the jacket, Funko Shop exclusive. And then here, they actually have the Lydia Deeds box such exclusive as well. This one's $65. They got a few of the Pen Pennywise Funko Pops, Lord of the Rings Hot Top exclusive. Here, they got the Rainbow Bigfoot. Oh my God, they actually have the Jimi Hendrix FYA exclusive with the old sticker. Same with the Elton John glitter. And then moving over onto this side. So here, if you guys are fans of One Piece, they actually have a few One Piece pops up here as well. They got some newer anime. So um, uh, Demon Slayer over here, Dragon Ball, Voltron over here. So again, they have quite a few different Funko Pops. Here's like a full black light set. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. They actually have these treasure skeleton limited to 4,000 pieces glow in the dark at the very top so i mean definitely a really awesome booth go ahead and check them out on instagram because you know they're trying to build their following and they actually do have some really awesome pieces here dr strange ghost rider glow in the dark all right guys so here we are at the mad mac expression so make sure to go ahead and scan that because what you're about to see is absolutely amazing here you can see they actually have these beautiful displays and stands for your funko pops that you can hang up on the wall and display your favorite funko pops of each property here you can see a few examples of what they're showing. So here they got the Peck Pennywise right there. They have Tondril, the Hulk. You can see here we got the Rat Pizza Rat from New York City. Um, your favorite NBA player could be used as well. And then here you can see Pokemon displays and you can actually use it for different collectibles. The Avatar Last Airbender. I mean, these are such cool shelves. I honestly, I've never seen anything like it before. So here you can see on this side as well, they have like kind of like a mashup. So you see Michael Myers and Jason, they can go ahead and display at the same time. And of course they actually do sell some Funko Pops as well. There's that Eustace kid from WonderCon, the actual con sticker, that's a really cool one. And then moving over here, they actually have some different quotes and stuff. So here you got Funko of the week. You see Star Wars right there. You can actually hang stuff, coat hangers, or like um, hang your keys. But this is absolutely amazing. This is such a cool booth. So yeah, again, check it out. Here we are at the geekandtrip.com booth at PopCon. They have an absolutely beautiful booth. You guys can see here, they got some lounge flies, a bunch of different Funko Pops over here. But all the really nice Pops are actually on the inside over here. So if you guys can see, they actually have some PSA graded sign Pops right there. They have a few pops that have some artwork on them, which is absolutely beautiful. A bunch of different signed pops as well. The ones that I'm really interested in though, for my personal collection are actually right here. So you guys can see the Jason 8-bit, the Jason Voorhees 8-bit NES. And then over here you can see these Dustin with the Snowball, Bob and Scrubs. So, I mean, there's absolutely amazing pops in this booth as well. As you can see some older Skyrim pops as well at the night owl pops and collectibles right there as you guys can see that is their social media you can check them out they have a store in melbourne so here they actually have a nice little harry potter section and being right in front of universal is pretty cool and from the fantastic beats they actually have the alchemy funko pop they have the harry potter with his h um sweater on which is super cool you see they have some of the newer stuff but if you're like an old fan you got the lucius malfoy with the death eater mask on and then moving down here, you see got some cool chases, the alien one right there. So at the actual convention, they have these really cool like um, mystery boxes that you can go ahead and get. And they actually do have a promo where if you spend $50 at their um, booth, you can go ahead and get a mystery box, which is super cool to see. You can get bonuses for spending at a booth. And yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. And then you can see there that was really cool. The Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat 10 chase. Um, that one's a, a cool. I've only had the common in my collection before. And yeah, and they actually have a little um, Night Owl pop right there, which is pretty fun. And this is also really nice, the San Diego Comic-Con 
um, Harry Potter trio right there. That's awesome. And here, of course, man, if being at these uh, conventions this is like the only time you're gonna see like all these insane um, signed Funko Pops, you see here some older Marvel as well. The Hulk Ragnarok Target exclusive is pretty cool. Collector Court Thor from Ragnarok. I mean, what an awesome booth. All right, guys, so we tried actually filming this a little bit earlier, but it was a little bit loud because of how amazing this girl right here, the Dr. Emmett Brown Glow in the Dark Radioactive um, Radiation Hazard Exclusive right there. That was in a mega con. It was just a kind of like a very low key drop, so not a lot of people got it. And then here you guys can see they have just, oh, they have the Slim from Killer Clown right there. Two of them is pretty cool. And then here the Grady Twins Chase. You got the Splash Mountain three pack right there. All right, guys, here we are at the Geek Out Toys and Collectibles booth. Um, we have shown you guys on um, them in several different um, conventions. But as you guys can see here, they got some beautiful pops. I actually do need that Glow in the Dark Wolfman from the New York City Comic Con. Freddy with the syringe is an insane grill that I eventually need to get. A bunch of NFT pops. You got that Freddy Funko with the trick or treat um, shirt on, which is really cool from Fright Nights. Moving over here, they got some more like common pops, but look at that right there, guys. Two pack box of exclusive Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. Again, the Splash Mountain ride is a lot of fun. That's cool. And then moving over here, you guys can see um, they have a bunch of Freddy Funkos that Scorpions with the flames on the top. Dude, the Green Goblin. I actually might go ahead and pick that one up because that is 12 bucks. And that is a really good price on the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Pops. So actually, that's something I might pick up because it's a pretty good deal right there. And the next PopCon and more event is going to be on December 2nd and 3rd. Again, here at the Double Tree Universal. And they actually do have the comic book artist right there of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles especially the last one and that's amazing and then here you got John Swayze um one piece crocodile and also my academia offer one right there so definitely go ahead and come check it out in Orlando look at that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles metallic San Diego comic-con 2013 absolutely amazing that's insane and then actually coming into this booth they actually just have a bunch of different grills at the top as well you got that really cool Mr. Krabs up there over here moving to this side you guys can see some limited edition marvin the Mar martians over here all the death note pops the old school booberry i mean these are really cool guys so that about does it for today here at the popcon event here in august um again we will be back for december because these people are always going to have some of the best collectibles and funko pops um available so again if you guys are in the orlando area during that first or second of december Make sure to go ahead and check it out because you will not be disappointed if you are into Funko Pops. So it's currently the weekend after PopCon. One week ago, we were at PopCon. That's where you saw all of the footage that we recorded. So now let's show you guys all the figures that we picked up from the event. So it's still in the backpack that we were carrying around. So the first Funko Pop that I want to go ahead and show you guys is the Green Goblin Funko Pop from Into the Spider-Verse. This was from the first movie. And it was only 12 bucks. So I was like, you know what? This is a good pop to add to the collection. Let's go ahead and pick it up. It was 12 bucks. So, yep, Green Goblin. This was from Geek Out Toys and Collectibles, as you saw in the video. And the next Funko Pop we got was this beautiful bagged Jason Voorhees. So, this is actually the Jason from um, Friday the 13th, the second one. So, it's an absolutely beautiful pop. Again, I did it once have this in my collection. But, you know, I sold it to my cousin. So, I'm glad to finally add it back into the collection. And then, finally, guys a huge in search of a huge grill to go ahead and add to the collection right here and this is the invisible man chase funko pop from walgreens i have been wanting this ever since it first came out so when i first started collecting that's when these um walgreens exclusive universal monster pops came out and i was never able to get the chase so i do have the common in my collection but to finally get the chase is such an exciting moment again these two pops were from Pops and Sons Collectibles. They do have a store in St. Petersburg. So again, huge shout out to them. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more Funko Pop Hunt videos just like this, please make sure to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys on the next one.